What's going on friends and family? It's Natalie coming at you live and today we're going to paint this painting. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and if you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing if you're obsessed with painting because I am and if you are, that would make a great combination. So today you'll need a couple supplies, um, just whatever you have laying around the house that will work. Um, if you got a paper plate, whatever, you can use, um, I'm using freezer paper and I got a shop towel here. I got a big br a big flat brush, a medium sized flat brush, a round brush, a filbert brush, and a liner brush. If you want a better picture of those, I'll put a link in the description of all the supplies I'll be using today and you can take a better look and I talk about each and every supplies that I'll be using. I stress that this is going to be stress free so if you're feeling frustrated at all, please put down your brushes for 5 minutes, okay? just. So we're definitely going to need magenta in this, titanium white, thalo blue, put a touch of Mars black on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my filbert brush. You can also use a flat brush for this as well. Just white, just pure white. I'm just going to grab pure white. And I'm going to figure out where I want my sun. I want my sun like right here. I know you probably can't see it because obviously the canvas is white, but I'm, now I'm going to go into, now I put like just a little blob of white, and now I'm going to get yellow. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to clean my brush, I'm just going to go straight into yellow, and that paint should be wet. So now that we got that white in there, now when we mix the two cake together, Gonna be a nice smooth transition, okay? Should be. Just barely any pressure. No pressure. I'm gonna make some clouds over here. Kind of scrubbing, starting to find favor into these um, filbert brushes. I have a flat brush tatted on me, so you know what team I'm on. Team flat brush. But you know what? I I admire all the brushes. I'm gonna clean that brush off. I'm gonna get. gonna make a pretty sky color that's good I just need probably need to make a little more okay cool and now we're gonna establish where our horizon is gonna be so I'm gonna decide it's gonna be right about there that's just gonna make give me a guide so I don't overboard on you know going down and down and farther down with my sky gives me uh, boundaries Lord knows I need those. All right. So as I get closer to the yellow, everyone knows that yellow and blue make green, okay? So the way we avoid this as much as possible is if we don't touch them yet. I'm not touching the colors yet. I'm not touching them two together. I'm not touching the blue and the yellow together yet. trying to figure out in my mind a peace strategy to come to the yellow in peace. We come in peace, don't make green. All right, so before that dries, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off that brush. I'm gonna go back to my filbert brush and I'm gonna just grab pure white with my filbert brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of gently move this paint into the yellow. So 
both of all of these colors are wet. So what it's gonna do is the white is gonna kind of make a peace statement to the yellow or the and be like, look, do you really want to turn green? And then you know, hopefully your peace statement works. Like, do you really want to turn green today? So I'm getting, I'm starting to get a little bit of blue on my brush, but that's okay. We shall not fear. Oh. Cause actually, we're gonna be putting colors over this, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go into white. statement again. I don't think my peace statement worked completely the first time. I make up the dumbest things when I'm painting and I have to talk. Like usually I'm like so focused. Like if you interrupt me during my like private painting, you know, my private painting time, I will take like five minutes to answer your one question, you know, because I'm so concentrated. So when like people force me to talk during this period of time, it's difficult. All right. So I kind of went back into the white and put a little bit more yellow and try to go back in and make a peace statement. So now I'm gonna, I still have my Filbert brush, but I just cleaned it off with my paper towel there. And magenta, and some white. So if you don't have magenta, um, you can also use like red and white. But it's just not the same. Forgive me if you hear my dog breathing. He heard some fireworks and is kind of freaking out a little bit, but it's okay, we're gonna keep painting. I'm petting him currently. So this is Bruce, and he wanted to interrupt class. He just wanted to be pet. He probably just pretended to hear fireworks. I'm gonna calm him down, and then we're gonna get back to painting. All right, so what I'm doing is I have this magenta pink, right? And what I'm doing with this pink is I have my filbert brush and I'm just lightly kind of just scrubbing the canvas, kind of just making uh, little clouds here and there. Just wherever I want them. I'm gonna make one right here. This is gonna be our shadow color. So we want them to look organic. So no super harsh lines. It's very important. So now that we did that, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off my brush here, my paper towel. And I'm gonna grab some yellow with white, the same color we used here. And now I'm just gonna kind of layer over that magenta. Kind of just 
right on top of it and then just with my finger my teacher that I took for for about three years now told me that these are 10 extra finger brushes God gave us so I use my index finger he likes using his pinky you know but if you don't like using your fingers at all well, see you're lost you're lost you probably got a pedicure a manicure or whatever they're called so we always want these to be facing the sun so the sun is facing this way so we have to reflect that in our clouds you have to show people that we kind of know what we're doing with as far as the lighting situation so I'm just kind of putting it right on top of wherever I put those um, shadow areas kind of just barely have any paint on my brush it's just smoky let's make some more cloud up here with the yellow all right cool awesome so that's something we're looking for perfect so let's move on to the ocean area so let's make sure all our brushes are clean and I'm gonna grab my biggest flat brush and I'm gonna grab magenta and some yellow and a touch of white just to tone it down just a touch want that ocean to be set on fire all right let's see what this does all right i want it more of like a purpley tone so let's put some per or let's put some blue in there So I'm gonna get white, magenta. There we go. I think this is what we want here. All right. So this color is yellow, blue, magenta, and white. And this is the color. It's like a dull violet. It's like a dull violet. Alright, so now this is the part we're going to have to move quickly, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just lay down this down. I'm going to grab some more yellow in my brush. Just mixing that color in. I'm going to get more yellow. So it's the same color, but I just added more yellow in it. And we want the ocean to keep coming down. And we want like a wave right here. So in our wave, we want it to be more vibrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush. So you kinda gotta do this all in one shot. So if you gotta go ahead and mix your paint, go for it. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little bit of that dirty color, put it in the yellow and the white. And I'm just going to imagine there's a wave right here. just want this to be a bright spot. I want the wave going this way. I need more of that color. Yep, that's what we want. Can you see the wave? OK, 
getting closer. All right. So now that we did that, let's get our magenta and a touch of blue. Oh yeah, it makes a pretty purple. Look at that purple. And we're just gonna mix this over here. I'm just gonna bring this down. Water. So I think this is dry, so I'm kind of staying away from blending it because if I try to blend it, my purple is just going to consume that bright spot. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of avoid blending it right now. And I'm going to focus on just laying this color down. And after I laid the color down, Okay, so I put the purple down, right? And now, I'm going to go ahead and clean off my brush. I'm going to go back into that color. And I'm just going to go ahead and just blend those two colors together. Just lightly, barely having any pressure on my hand. So now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my brush and I'm going to get blue, just let's get some pure blue, pure thalo blue. Let's mix some in it over here. Alright, sorry my camera died in the middle so my painting might be dry because I had a really quick switch battery packs but um, thalo blue. And then, uh, wow, my painting is completely dry. I'm going to have to re-wet it. Excuse me, sorry. A little setback. Just go ahead and re-wet this. So now that it's re-wet, um, it looks kind of messy, but it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab blue and a touch of white and some magenta. It's going to make this pretty periwinkle color, beautiful periwinkle color. You see that? And we're just going to mix it down here just a little bit. Just going to bring this down here I'm gonna clean that off my brush and I'm gonna get periwinkle or sorry I'm gonna get um, all the darks so we got magenta blue let's get some black and a touch of white. So we want like a Payne's gray. So like a like a blue gray. That's good. So this is like a Payne's gray right here.
And now I'm just going to mix that in with this one. Now this one's an exercise. But you'll persevere. Practice patience, perseverance, and passion. We'll get you through it. colors I know it's kind of wonky but I kind of want to add a little bit more touch of magenta in here I'm gonna get my silver brush I'm gonna get magenta So I'm going to bring this color up a little bit, just pure thalo blue. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but a little bit magenta showing through, but I want this to be pretty dark here. And if you want to get a pure straight line, you can always put masking tape or painting tape or whatever and um, do it that way, but I'm just too lazy to do all that. So now that we did that, make sure you clean off all your brushes very good. I'm going to grab that same purple color. So I'm going to grab blue, magenta, make like a purple color. And all I'm going to do is I have my small flat brush. And I, I went back and forth on my palette and it created a sharp edge. And with that sharp edge, I'm just going to make some waves in the distance. Not much, just very little bit. And so the wave, we want to start kind of slanting it because our wave is going to go like this. So that means that we have to kind of start slanting this wave that we're about to do. So watch, I'm going to show you. So those lines can be straight in the background, right? So now I'm going to grab, I'm going to just go ahead and clean off my brush. And I'm going to grab Periwinkle again. So that same color but with blue, magenta, and white. Makes a beautiful periwinkle, this color here. And now we're gonna do our foam on our first wave. So here I want the wave, and I'm using my flat brush and all that, and you can even use a filbert brush as well. And um, I just had this on hand, so that's what I'm using. And I'm going in circles. I'm just kind of barely putting any, like I'm not literally making circles, but I'm just making the suggestion of a wave top. And then I'm gonna get that same color and I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna use this for the wave right here. So I want this wave to start right about there. And same thing, but this one's gonna be a little bit bigger. Break it up, go down, and then I want it to go up. You know, we're kind of crashing here, or ending here. And even if you don't like it, watch this. I'm gonna grab my a piece of my paper towel. I'm gonna put it in water. It's like a damp piece of paper towel. Watch this. Don't tell anyone that it's between me and you, okay? So 
to watch. They can't even start over. Fresh start. And put it more over here. fresh start. I'm going to go more up here like that. Let's make a color. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab just pure magenta. I'm running out of room here. Just pure magenta. My brush is a little dirty. It's alright. I'm just gonna make some more lines in the distance. It's pure magenta color. Not too much, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some indications of some veins here. Wave like veins. I'm just kinda going in a short kind of slightly slanting my direction here. Waves are always kind of difficult, but people love them. So. Try to give you guys what you love. So now I'm just kind of loosening up my hand Kind of almost going in a lazy, same technique, but I'm kind of just getting more and more lazy with it as I go up. Grab some blue and magenta. So we want a dark purple. I'm just gonna create a shadow for this wave here. Probably could have waited to do this step, but some steps I just get so excited I just have to do it. Even if I should have probably waited. So we're gonna have to do this again so another time. So I could have probably just waited, but I just get so excited sometimes. So I wanna do it. Alright. Cool. So I'm gonna take that same color and just kind of drag it down. It's kind of scary, but kind of pull it down. Kind of doing the same thing we did here but but smaller. Same color and then just kind of pull that blue and the purple into that magenta. I'm gonna clean off my brush. Now I'm gonna get a more of an orange tone. I'm gonna get yellow, blue, and some white, and a touch of magenta. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight some spots over here. So I'm just gonna barely touch, just like the sun's kissing. Just kind of. Kissing the water and just barely put some here and there. It's 
So I'm crossing that magenta. Going in, kind of meeting the two waves together. So now I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna add more white to that color. So it's almost gonna be like a pure white, but it has a tone of that color in it. But now I'm just gonna kinda do some highlights on here. I'm not gonna add too many. We don't want our wave to be super stringy and highlighted. Just a few. here not too much just a little bit all right so now I'm gonna clean off my brush you can switch to your flat brush or your flat brush or your filbert whichever one I have my flat brush in my hand so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it and on the top I'm just gonna have pure white on the top of that I'm not gonna cover up all my work it's very important we still leave some but you see how I'm kind of just tapping it in small circles, just kind of. Oops. Same thing over here. Make sure it doesn't look like one long eyebrow. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and switch to blue and white so I got white a touch of blue I'm just gonna add a touch in here and then with in this periwinkle color So now, I'm going to extend this wave out all the way to over here. So I'm going to just kind of glide my paintbrush. And now I'm going to bring this in like this. It's going to come out like this. It's going to go in. And then it's going to go out like that. I just realized my camera was all the way zoomed in. Sorry about that. You didn't see that rest. The bottom there. But. This is just that technique I showed you where you can erase stuff. You mess up, just erase it. But don't, don't um, keep doing it because it will start lifting your paint. All right, so now I'm gonna use that same color that I have on my brush and just kind of skid this. If you're happy where you, you, you got it, I'm just gonna go ahead and skid this out, and pull it into my wave. I'm just I'm going to kind of put a little bit over here, just kind of a foamy part, got foam over here. I'm just going to skip this out. And 
and then as I go up here, I'm gonna kind of blend it into my wave. Kind of just pulling this up slightly, ever so slightly, just kind of bring this color up gently. Pretty. So for here, I want it to be more of a periwinkle. So remember the periwinkle that we made? It was white, blue, and magenta. I want it to be more of like a, like a, I'm going to use this periwinkle, watch this, I'm going to just go ahead and smear it. If it's drying up, you can add your, put your finger in the water, it's kind of reactivate it. It like dried up right as soon as I put it on there, it's alright. I'm going to smear it out. See the effect it's giving us? It's kind of pairing that. It's wet. It's kind of cool. A little bit over there. And then you can even like so I don't want that much right here. I kind of put a little bit too much right here. Alright. Alright. So now we can get that pure white that we had. Get some pure white on your flat brush or your or your filbert brush. And I'm just gonna add some white to that foam. Probably best if you do this with the filbert. I'm gonna switch to my filbert because I want that. Just a little bit. Don't consume this. Don't get carried away. Just a little bit white. I kind of consume mine over here, so I'm gonna add more blue and white to it. And then I'm gonna get my filbert brush or your flat brush. Just kind of put a white line. Remember that blue line we put? Just go over it. Since we're already confident where we want it, just go ahead and put it right there. I'm just going to add some more pure white to the ending here. some 
indication of a wave kind of got crashed all the way over here and what this is this is just a lot of water a little bit of paint and barely any pressure Add some white and some yellow, and just put on a little bit more. There we go. And all you have to do after that is just sign it. So I hope you guys like this painting tutorial and comment below if you guys have any suggestions and if you guys try it out yourself on Instagram, you can hashtag me now the paints or tag me on all platforms. It's at now the paint and make sure you subscribe if you're obsessed with painting like I am and till further notice, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.